Hello everyone, welcome to story time. Today's story is The Song of Spring by Henrik Jonas. And this is a story about all the wonderful things that happen during springtime, as well as making some new friends. I hope you guys know your animal noises, because we're going to be making a couple. Let's hop on in, shall we? The Song of Spring. As spring approaches, the birds begin to sing, whistle and chirp so they can attract some new friends. When Mr. Blackbird sings the Blackbird song, Mrs. Blackbird comes flying by. It's the same with robins and with all the other birds too. But with this little bird, however, it was different. He could not remember his song of spring. But because he wanted to find a friend, he hastily opened his beak one day and shrieked, Woof! <laughs> woof, woof! What says woof? Woof, woof! answered the dog and wagged its tail. Hmm, that wasn't quite right, said the little bird. Have another go, said the dog. So the little bird cried out, Oink, oink, oink. Oops, said the little bird. But you are not a bird. What is this? It's a pig. No, said the pig. I am a pig. Oink, oink. The little bird thought a bit. The pig and the dog had not been much help at all. So he shouted, Moo! Do we know what says moo? Cooey, said the cow, and started at the bird, stared at the bird with its great big eyes. The little bird had to sit down, not least because of the huge shock. The cow was mooing, the dog was barking, the pig was grunting, the little bird could not concentrate. Oh, said the little bird, and slid back a little on his branch. The cat purred softly and said, Hello, little one. The pig, the dog, the cow, and the cat scrambled about in the tree. The bird thought hard, and then sheepishly cried out, Meh? <laughs> Did you just say meh, inquired the goat. It came out wrong, said the little bird, and he blushed a lot. Now I have it, cried the little bird. Nervously, the goat, the pig, the cow, the cat, and the dog looked on. The bird chirped, hee-haw. Well, you sang that beautifully, said the friendly donkey. I am looking for a bird friend, moaned the little bird quite sadly, but it is not quite working out. So what now? Well, the donkey, the goat, the pig, the cat, the dog, and the cow looked quizzically at the bird. At last, he said, well, I cannot think of anything. Awkward silence. Pawing the ground, ear wiggling, horn scratching. Suddenly, there was a deafening sound. Parp! <laughs> what was that? Hello, said a pretty girl bird. I have come from very far away, and I am looking for a friend, but I cannot find one. Can you help me? Yeah, cried the pig and the dog and the donkey and the goat and the cow and the cat. The little bird was very happy. Oink, woof, meow, cheep, cheep, roar, hee-haw, moo, and meh. And that is how the little bird, who could not remember the song of spring, found not only one, but many friends. That was a fun story. Thank you all for joining me and for reading along today. I hope you guys had fun making some animal sounds with me. I sure did. I love a good excuse to make animal sounds. Well, 
I'll see you guys next time, and if you're looking for some more fun activities to do, feel free to go ahead to veronalibrary.org children. Until next time, goodbye.